Okay, I'm going to show how to make what I call the V-shaped cursed. V-shaped because it's like a V. Now this is my purse that I use and I have hidden inside pockets. There's that. I'll show you another one that I made. This is out of the Chanel. This is the bigger one. Also lined with hidden pockets. And then there's a smaller one that I have not lined. And I believe that this is the size it's going to be. Um, I use the um, more textured stitch, stitch, ugh, stitch with this one and some beads for accessories. And another thing that I did a little bit different on the strap is I kind of tucked it right here just to give a more, I don't know, I just think it hangs better like that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've already got the panel crocheted. I don't want to do a really long video, obviously, because I have big files on my phone trying to have the best resolution possible because I have to re-upload it somewhere else and it diminishes in quality. Okay, um, so basically this is, how many stitches? 22 stitches, 22, chain 22, which gives 21 single crochet stitches. This is a single crochet. And this is basically using squares. So you take this to where it's nice and even. Take the corners. Make sure that it's even. Okay. And then you count the rows, which is, this is 10 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, it's 11. Okay, so this is the 11, 21 single crochets and 11 rows. So you're going to have three sections of 11 rows. So basically, you have three squares, and that's how you make this first. So if you turn this one down this way, then you're going to take this side, and you're going to turn it the opposite direction, and make sure you count the same exact amount of rows that it's using. See, make sure you just line that corner up nice and even. All right. And count the rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect. Okay, so this one goes up. And then this one goes down. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of them to go in the opposite direction like this so basically you're going to create your purse and just kind of line it up nice and even and you see the rows should be even and you can darn it with a crochet hook or you can use my preference is a metal tapestry or yarn needle okay so I'm going to show how I do each side then I'm going to show how I put the strap in, which basically this is, I believe, six. I chain six, and then you'll have five crochets, and that is plenty wide enough. And then you're going to darn that in. This is not the longer strap, but it's plenty long enough to be a shoulder strap. I prefer mine to be long enough to go over the front of my body, and I'll show you how to do that to darn the strap in. And then I've started, and I didn't complete, this is going to be the button strap that goes on the inside, and you'll have a button right here, or a bead, whichever you want to use for a button. And the reason I didn't finish this is because I'm going to show you how to do the buttonhole. And hopefully this won't be too long of a video, because I don't know how much storage I have on my phone, and I hate for my phone to quit right in the middle while I'm doing a video. Bummer that. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's see. I'm going to have to um, cut this off for right now, and I'll finish that later so that I can do my darning. Buttonhole is really, really easy to make. So to do this, you know, you already have to know single stitch, slip stitch, chain, which I have tutorial on all that. I'm just showing you the assembly part of this purse. Okay, so basically to do a buttonhole, you would single crochet one, chain two, 
So you're not going to go into these next two and then single crochet into the fourth stitch. And then the next row, you would chain, you would single crochet into each, um, the single crochet that you did and then the two chains and then the single crochet and then just keep, you know, keep going from there and that'll leave a little button hole. It's really easy. Okay. All right. So having said all that, I just twist this. I'm going to pause this while I thread my needle. Now I, I go ahead and cut my yarn. So just going from here to here is not going to even need this much that I've cut and I'll use what's left. I have enough to do the other side. So basically I start at the bottom. I'm going to zoom this in just a wee little bit. Just so you know, if you're watching this on a mobile, I don't like to zoom in because you have zoom options um, and to have a big piece like this, if I'm doing like a crochet, I'm sewing a stitch, I'll zoom in, you know, but when I, I need everything in the picture, so it's hard for me to zoom in and have everything I need to be visible in the picture. But you, if you're using a mobile device, just zoom in. If you're using a computer, control and then the plus sign to magnify your screen. I don't think it'll affect the quality on what type of device you have. Okay, so just making sure that that you have your corners even. So you don't want it like overlapping. You want it nice and even when you're setting this up. And your rows should match. Okay, you just kind of this corner might be a little bit apart, but that's not a big deal. You go down here to the very bottom. Right. And I just go kind of like from side to side. Okay, so starting out, you're going to have a knot at the bottom. Okay, so I'll just give that a little knot. No, don't worry about lanyards and whatnot. Little, Because you're going to turn this purse inside out. So right now, this is the outside of the purse. I mean inside. You're going to turn it inside out once you get it dark so you won't have all this visible. All right, and so as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm going... And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, I'm just giving you the idea. I don't like to go into these stitches. I just kind of go into here. Maybe a little bit. This is acrylic yarn, so it's a little bit stiff. But for, you know, I'd rather not use the soft yarn. Um, unless you're using, like, bulky Chanel yarn. That's perfect for a purse. But acrylic yarn has a better stiffness and when you when you make tight stitches make your single crochet as tight as possible because you're going to be carrying weight so the less stretching you'll have and you know i put liners in my purses but maybe you don't want to so the tighter you have the better and plus you know you don't want gaps and whatnot so that's it and you just darn that all the way up and i'm going to pause this until i get up to here get closer to the end here but you know and just kind of check and make sure that you're staying lined up as you go along and your rows are staying lined up you know I, I really appreciate it even if you don't have videos on your channel if you would create playlists because you know I I learned this in school not all these stitches all a lot of stitches a lot of stuff on YouTube but like my basic crochet skills I learned while I was in junior high um, you know, and I, I just try to be thankful to people who I learned so much from on YouTube. I've learned the art of acrylic pore painting. I've learned a lot of crochet stuff. I've learned so many things. If I want to know how to do something, I'll go to YouTube. And I try to always make sure I like their video, you know, um, even if it's not the perfect quality, just, just to be thankful for their efforts. And um, I'll tell you another thing about playlists. And it, more people put your stuff on playlists, even if you don't upload videos, create playlists because if you see something you like or interested in you may not be able to find it later on and that's the wonderful thing about playlists because I have things that's been in there for years and you try to find those just for searching you go through my playlist and try to find some of those things that's you know been on there for a long time you're not going to find them in the algorithm they're just it's just, they're, they're so old so if you really like something, save it to your playlist. Playlists are so important. If you don't know how to make a playlist, I'm sure I have a tutorial on that too. Just, go, <laughs> just Google my playlist or ask me and I'll do another updated on how to do playlists. 
anyways okay so here we are and i'll tucker all this down i'll you know darn that in so you want to make sure that you're right even you don't want to go too high up okay you don't want to like bring this together and then you'll have this weird tucked look but you want to get right up to the top right up to the top to that top see this right here Ugh. this is the top stitch so you know that's where you're going to end where this stitch is hope that's helpful mm -hmm. and i see i go from down and kind of up at an angle you don't have to do it that way if you have your own darning preferences but this i'm just trying to give you the gist of the idea okay maybe one more for good measure and then I'm going to snip it off and tie these together. And then I will darn these down. And then snip them to be a little bit shorter. Some people will burn them, whatever works for you so that's side one okay turn this over here's side two okay remember see it should be nice and e even and the rows make sure they line up and kind of pull this up a little bit let me zoom back out okay so you just want to make sure that this is nice and even and it's laying See what I'm saying? That should be even. All right. And just kind of pinch these at the bottom. Pinch this at the bottom. Keep it up some. Pinch this at the bottom so that it's together. And it should line up. And all the rows should be even. This should be flat. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to show you how to do the straps and the button. Okay, so I'm here at the top, and I have a frayed in there, and uh, just making sure that I've got the last stitch there. As you see, all the rows line up. Give this a little bit of a knot here. Okay, now before, this is important, before you can do all these loose knots, whatever, later, bef before you do your purse straps, make sure you turn your purse inside out and also your button strap. If you have a button strap, you don't have to, that's optional. Because otherwise you're gonna have darned your purse straps on the outside. And if that's what you want, to each their own. But as for me, I, know, I like the purse straps darned on the inside. Okay, so this is a smaller size purse. There it is. Look at them zoomed in, there we go. Oh, zoomed in. All right. And so you have equal lengths at the top. Now, what I do to darn them in is I'll take about one, two, three, four. If it's a larger purse, I'll do five rows. One, two, three, four. So you're just going to kind of turn this like this and you're going to center this. So row four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four is going to be at the top centered turn this that way and when i start my darning i will start at the top in the center and i just kind of work my way across so i should have enough left on this hook to show you and you know how you darn is if if you're new to darning i mean you know what i don't like that weak spot right there so i'm going to get rid of this yarn hang on a second okay Got some new yarn to work with. Okay, so at the fourth, one, two, three, four, fourth row, that should be, because it's not a very deep purse. I mean, you, you can go a little bit deeper. You know, you want it anchored is good, but this isn't a very long strap. Let me see how long it'll be. Make sure when you darn it that it's not twisted. That would not be fun to have a twisted purse strap. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just go with four. Four is fine. And, and it's up to you. You can even do three, but I just prefer to have it anchored really good. 
one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm at the fourth row here. Okay, and I'm going to go under, and again, darning, it can be a complete preference of your own, just to get the idea of how to assemble this is all I'm trying to demonstrate. You may want to do it completely different. Again, that is completely up to you. And turn this this way. Then I'm going to just take and put a knot right there, like so. You don't have to do it that way again. Okay, so I'm anchored in the center. Do, zoom just a wee little bit. All right. Again, you can use your own zoom if you want to get closer. And then I'll just kind of go... Now, there's different ways of darning. If you don't want the stitch to show on the other side, you know, um, you can just go, like, grasp the top of this stitch and the top of this stitch, and then the stitches are completely invisible on this side. That's completely up to you. Again, there are different ways to darning, and that is, I cannot tell you how to do it. I don't want to tell people how to do it because, you know, it's it's up to you. Whoop. I know I didn't want to do it that way. Hang on a second. Okay, now keep in mind, <clears throat> when you're keeping this flat, you kind of just want to make sure you keep it centered. You don't want it turning this way or turning that way, and you'll have a, a weird lay to it. Okay, and again, as I was saying, you know, I'm just giving you the general idea of how to assemble this purse. I don't want to, like, tell people the best way to darn, you know, that's not how I roll. Okay. So I'm just getting it going here. All right. Some people just like to do like you're sewing and just go from one inside. Like they go that way and then back in this way from, from the outside. And, you know, that's, that's your preference. Maybe it's quicker that way. And just to show you, and then just go back in. You know, I'm just showing you different different options of how you can do it. And I kind of turn it to the side a little bit and kind of go up here. I'll go through maybe three of these. Whoopsie, did not need to do that. Let's see, so all the, try to keep as many stitches on the inside as possible. Again, if you're going to sell something, you kind of want to have it as perfect as possible. You know, just, but if it, it's just, uh, it's, you know, it's your, it's your gift. It's your whatever, you know. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that like that. Anyways, let's skip across like that. If you want to go to the other side, just showing you different ways to get around. But I want to make sure, on my purse specifically, that this top doesn't, I want that tuckered. That top corner, I want that nice and tight. I just don't like that bending down look. That would kind of irk me just a wee little bit. <laughs> I like it to lay nice and neat. Now, I personally want this, see what I mean by making sure that your stuff stays nice and even. You don't want it cockeyed or whatever. And then I will go all the way down here. And so that the sides, the bottom, the center, and the top is all anchored. And then I'm going to go to the other side. And so this is what this side looks on the outside. And you can barely see any stitches. So now we're going to go on to the next side. And a little hint too, these stitches on the inside are going to be covered up because I do plan to line this purse and I know I had a request to show how to do the lining and so I am going to be doing that. Do I need to get some material? I don't have a crafting store nearby. In fact, the nearest Walmart's like half an hour away. So 
and I will, when I get done putting the purse strap on this side, I'm going to show you how to tuck this. I like the tucked look on the purse. I think it just lays and hangs better. It's a preference. You don't have to do that. So when you line this up, make sure obviously that it's not twisted. And again, you line this up to center it as best as possible. And you can't like lay it out that way because now it's attached over here. So just try to mind it, keep it from curling or twisting and uh, so that you can get a start. I'm going to anchor right here underneath before I go at it. All right. And so now I'm going to go right up into that top part there. I like to make sure it's nice and snug. Kind of work my way down that corner there. Just making sure that you are keeping it centered. I want that top of that purse curling. down the sides it doesn't have to be perfect it's up to you on the inside it's going to be covered up with a liner now if you're not going to put a liner then you probably want to make sure it's you know as neat as possible because especially if you're going to give away as a gift or try to sell it you know you're representing yourself and just give all the love that you can into what you're making always do your best okay now we're gonna move on to the um Just kind of make a little tuck on the inside of the purse's uh, strap. And again, I will be lining this, and the purpose of my lining is because it's crochet and it's yarn, and some yarn has more stretch than other, just to give longevity of the product to prevent, you know, um, stretching. For a small purse like this, it should be a lightweight purse, you know, so it shouldn't be putting a whole lot of weight inside it. But, you know, again, crochet purses that are not lined can stretch. So, now, basically on the tuck, you just kind of pinch it together, and two stitches should be enough. You just kind of cradle it like, th like so. I hope I'm perfectly in the Am I zoomed in? Okay. So basically you're going to go from this side. You're going to catch this. Basically this right on the inside so it doesn't show. You go as much on the inside as you can. You're going to go through here and go through there. This side. And then try not to go on the outside. That's my preference. You can do it differently. That's your preference. On the tuck and you should only need one or two stitches and then I'll go a little bit up maybe a just a little bit higher I don't want too much of a tuck maybe go down just a wee little bit before I close it off and that should be sufficient okay now you decide which side of the purse do you want to be the front and I think I'm gonna have this side be the front eh, maybe this side okay and the reason you need to decide which side is your front because you're going to put the buttonhole now I'm gonna show real quick how to do the buttonhole all right <laughs> hang on a second okay so 
I've measured this up to have it good and anchored. So, okay. So for buttonhole, it's really simple. You have four single crochets. So you're going to chain one, skip these two stitches and just chain two over it and then single crochet in the last stitch. It's really simple. Chain two. Don't want those too tight because you're going to have to single crochet into them, but you don't want them too loose either. You don't want a stretchy buttonhole. And if you're going to use a like a bead, probably use a smaller buttonhole. Okay, then I go back in to this last crochet, single crochet here. Ooh, took off some of my nail polish, for heaven's sakes. That's really, really tight. I may need to get another hook out just for this stitch. <laughs> it's taking some of my nail polish off. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Now, it may seem like a small buttonhole, but don't worry, because it's, it's, it's yarn. It'll stretch. But that does not look right. There's something wrong with that. Okay, didn't do that right. Hang on a second. Okay, and if you want a bigger buttonhole, you know, then you just make it a little wider. But this is a smaller purse, so I don't want a really, because you have to keep in mind the width here, so I don't want a really wide strap. And then you just chain one, turn, and then you're going to crochet into that first crochet. And then the next two chains, which are really tight, and you can switch up to a smaller hook if that helps you to keep, you know, keep your buttonhole nice and tight. Yeah. And then this last stitch here. Okay, so there's that. And I'm not going to show you how to sew a button on. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. I mean, if you want me to show you how to sew a button on, I will. But, okay, so, I will darn this in. It's just like I did up here, so I'm not going to do it on camera because my video is getting long. You can also glue it, whichever you want to do. That's your preference. So, I like the buttonhole to be right about here. And the reason is, is because I'm going to put an accessory right here. And I don't want it too low in the purse. Okay, and I'll have a little bead right here probably a pearl and that's it because I'm gonna hot glue gun this on you can sew this on whatever that is your preference but this is basically I believe a really easy make one of these in a couple hours the lining is a whole different story I will do a different video on that I would really appreciate if you give this a like um clue word button um if you're not familiar with what the clue word is about basically if you comment the clue word nothing else in the comment just the clue word you get an extra entry for my giveaway to be included and participate in the giveaway you have to comment at least one clue word in one of my videos and so um you can have as many extra entries as you want obviously the more entries you get the higher chance of winning um yeah and so and if you also comment a regular comment on the same video you get an additional extra entry because i don't want my video sitting there with no comments because the more comments the more interaction the more visibility i get so i appreciate if you would give this video a like comment um, my giveaways i do paypal I do gift cards robux and crochet makes uh, go to my channel playlist on my channel page you'll see playlist and you'll see my giveaway playlist and current clue words and I do bingo you don't have to pay or anything like that it's just a fun game I do and a way to get some extra entries and hang out and helps me get watch time uh, yeah so that's it and I appreciate your feedback on this do you think that it was an easy video to follow was there any kind of other type of purses that you would like to see me do um, I I will be doing the lining soon your request I, I appreciate and 
I appreciate if you if you are somebody that does tutorials, please comment and let me know because I will go check your channel out. I love watching tutorials and I put them in my craft playlist, also feature on my channel because it may not be visible down the road when I decide I want to do it. And so I appreciate if you do have playlists and maybe you would consider adding this to it. Let's all help each other out. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you so much and I hope you have a blessed weekend.